I'm so excited. Well, I was excited. <laughs> Until I noticed that the Chinese food I ordered specifically to do the chopstick video for now gave me no chopsticks. I mean, the restaurant gave me no chopsticks, sorry. <laughs> so I am like, ah, let me look through the cupboards. Let me, you know, forget it. Let's, let, we'll, we'll just eat. We'll just eat. You know it, veggie egg rolls. Chicken chow mein. I like this place because look at this. Nice big fat pieces of real chicken. That's hot. Shit. Fuck. Ah. I should have opened the container as soon as I don't like hot food. I don't know how you people eat all that dang hot food. My mother can't eat her food unless it's steaming. Okay, get back in there. Get back in there. I am just not the same way. A little bit warmer than room temperature is good by me. Well, I drink hot tea. Well, today I'm having um, cold green tea, but that's okay. You know what, just get in there, thank you. And you could even sit right there and cool off. Yes, you can. And I had these in a minute. Oops, sorry. Hot stickers. I think they're chicken. I'll tell you. Everything we eat is chicken. Chicken, chicken. I'm being good and balancing out with my veggie <laughs> egg rolls. So I got all ready to do this dang video. And, um, thank you, Paul. So I sit down, you know, I get my box all set up so you guys can see and everything. Oh, well, you can't see the top of my head, but no will need to see that anyway. And, um, I'm like, oh, good, you know, Dale's going to be so happy. I'm going to finally make a fool of myself trying to eat some damn chopsticks with some damn chopsticks, you know. And no chopsticks. I'm like, hold it. This is a black thing. <laughs> I'm joking. Laugh. Oh, they are so sweet. My old man who delivers my food. It, oh, he's just so, so, so sweet. And of course, crunchies. The, um, the cookie thing. You know this company's gotta be these companies that make these things gotta be making tons of money. Okay, let me try to bite this one. And I'm back to and back up. And I'm back on it. Let me bite this one. And I try just to use one of these things because, you know, I'm getting older, trying to do better as I get older and cut down on the sodium. So it's pretty early. You know, I'm going to be drinking water all day the rest of the day, which I usually do anyway. I'm trying to stay a little warm. Mm. Okay. Mm. 
put you in there with them guys. Those guys will keep you nice and warm. Not hot. Huh? There's my little trash. My sauce is in my little sauce dish. Grab some tea. Okay, mental note, Tasha, next time, tell them to include chopsticks. Okay. I mean, like, look at this chicken. Mm. And yes, I had them checked out. It's real chicken. Mm -hmm. It's been a minute since I've had this. How are you guys doing? Mm. Hi to my couple of new subscribers. Nice to have you. A girl can't wait to get paid. Oh, you had too much salt already today, huh? Okay, there, that's it. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And the best thing I like about this place. I even like their egg for young. Because you know how it is when you were a kid and you got that taste stuck in your head. Sorry, I, I got to get used to stop looking outside and stop looking at the side view panel. And after all these years, since I was a kid, this one place has been in business. And my sister told me they finally closed. Damn, that was some good egg for young. And I know to you probably one egg for young is the same as the other. Yeah, not to me. Mm-mm. Oh, and um shit. <clears throat> I get a better habit of making notes and like tape it to the bottom of the camera or something. I did get your message, thank you. And as soon as I finish eating and I got your payment. Thank you. I'll start working on your black tourmaline pendant, okay? Mm, mm, mm. See that one packet? It's just enough. Yeah, to not have a puddle at the bottom. Though sometimes I like it like that. But I know I don't need that. So I'm trying to get better. A little at a time. Me and my girlfriend. They are, uh, um. See, Joshua, you're not doing so bad. And I'm like, yeah, but it takes a lot of concentration. I mean, I know you guys are like, yeah, well, it's normal to eat and talk. No, not at my house. If you eat and talk, you get your mouth slapped. So, I had to do a bunch of deprogramming. Yep, I did it. I really, really did it. Mm. 
Você não ganha nenhum de percento. <risos> Sorry, Dale. I really tried. Cause you know that would be a funny video, right? Me trying to use some damn chopsticks. And then I'll be sitting here eating, trying to remember the video that I saw on how to use chopsticks. I'll learn, I'll learn. Hey, we all gotta do something to keep ourselves going, right? That's definitely gonna be some shit to help me keep going. Okay, you're cool enough enough. Get back in there. Because we all know we'll be hungry again. Four hours, right? <laughs> no offense. Intended. Oh, what a treat this is. Thank you, Paula. Oops. Oops. It's a beautiful day here. I cannot believe it. I woke up. Because now, when I wake up and I reach for the cell phone, this particular cell phone, after a while, it does like a screensaver thing and it shuts itself off. So when you tap it, then all your messages come through. Um, so I reach over and I automatically leave my thing clear. So you see the desktop. Now, when I wake up, then I tap to refresh the temperature and it said 76. And I'm like, holy shit, let me get up and go take the dog for a nice long walk. And I should have walked to the mailbox. I just walked like 10 times around the parking lot and get off what I ate yesterday, you know? But it's a beautiful day. I can see the moon out. Pretty clear skies, which I love because then I can see the mountains on that side. And when I go to the office, which is directly on the opposite side of this wall, I can see the mountains on that side too. And why do people call story time? Every time we turn this on, I'm eating for any good story time. Right? So, I'm thinking of what to share next as if that should ever be a problem. That's good tea. Usually, uh, that is one thing I never run out of things to talk about. But again, I usually talk about metaphysical stuff, so. Okay, just like that. I was raised with one of those mothers that you deal with whatever I say in my house, whatever you do in your house, I don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. So I was raised in unity, Church. So when I was 12, my mother taught us all to dream. So I came out the womb asking questions and dreaming the answers. That feels so good. Mm. I'm always happy to have something to crunch. It's not going to break a tooth. Um, so all my life I grew up, you know, asking questions, and we read Daniel, whatever, 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 and we go to bed and dream the answer. 
So, when I was 12, my brother found, I hope a lot of you like that sound because it's annoying to me, but I can't help it. My brother found this um, spiritualist church. I'm not telling nobody what to believe, but not to believe. This is just my story of my life. Okay? So, we started going to this church in Redlands, California. I don't even remember the name of it. And we, you know, had our first seance, blah, 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 blah. And it was really fucking cool. I mean, it's really neat listening to your grandmother talk to you in her own voice outside your head. <laughs> For those of you who do hear your grandma's voice inside your head. <laughs> anyway. So then I started developing my gifts. Which is to be expected, of course. Yes, all that paranormal shit is real. But I gotta tell you this about that. I'm happy I have the grandmother and mother I have. So I could be prepared for that shit. Because stuff would be moving out of our house all the time. Radio will come on at 3 o'clock in the morning. Light to come on. And you know how some movies you can see the impression of somebody sitting on the bed? Yep, Uncle Arnold comes sit on my bed. And I'll be like, Mother! Uncle Arnold, get off of her bed! And you could hear the carpet crunching as he walked back down to mama's room. <laughs> I kid you not, this was my life. So it was very interesting seeing things. No, not everything. All my boyfriends always wanna know, can you, can you see everything? Yeah, why, what did you do? <laughs> I'm kidding. No. I ain't playing with my gifts like that. Mm -mm. That's dangerous. Seriously. So just like any other, you know, religion, any other thing, you get used to stuff happening all the time. Yes, even now. But it's different, because, you know, I'm 57 now, I'm used to it. And no, you still don't know what everything means all the time. I get pictures of stuff. I hear, smell, touch, taste, feel, psychometry, blah, 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 blah. You can just call me a medium, how's that? Honest to God, Robert, I'll think of you the rest of my life every time I burp. <laughs> every time. I think I got one more in there for you here. And then a lot of times it's not like on TV, tell live vision, you know. I mean, I don't go around saying, okay, Nana, if you're here, move something, and then boom, something moves. <gasps> oh my God. No. So, that's the other part of my life. Now you know more about me than you probably ever wanted to know. <laughs> I'm kidding. Because the young ones that write, I'm assuming you're a young one, 
only judging by your language, sorry if I'm wrong. Um, I see on your Facebook that you do da 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 da. Tell us about that next time. Okay. So, see, Greg, I'm telling you. That's an interesting life. Yeah, no, I don't have all the answers, and no, I'm not going to give you the numbers to the lottery. But that's a different video. So for those of you out there trying to use your spiritual gifts, that's what else I do. Teach people how to use their spiritual gifts. Okay, not that much, not that much. I'm getting full already. Did I have breakfast today? Oh yeah, I had a yogurt for breakfast. Seven o'clock. I don't know what time it is now, but I'm pretty sure it's lunchtime. This tea is so good. I don't know what they put in their tea. She says it's just um like in the whole big huge gallon thing. She says she just puts like a half a cup of uh, honey. Mm -hmm. All I know is it's good. You know? I will say though, I'm really um, cautious about bringing things home. I, I don't go to the thrift store. And all the spirits are hanging out there, just filling my head with shit, like in, in ghosts. You know, that part's real. I usually don't buy a lot of stuff. If I ever go to the thrift store, I don't buy a lot of stuff from the thrift store. Because of whatever could be on it, you know? Not to scare you guys. It's just me. So. I am going to be going because I need to get some new utensils and stuff for uh, my gardening. Need new stuff to do my gardening. Not new, though. That's too expensive. New use. You know? So, I was making a trip there. Um, next week, I can grow my own herbs, and get my healing on, and stay well, stay sane, you know, this is just so, so good, come on, I'm going to drag noodles all the way across the table, there, have a bite. And honestly, it's the same as any other religion, except in the fact that whatever you believe in is going to happen. Where the mind goes, the behind follows, okay? So I was just talking to my little brother earlier about remembering to have faith, no matter what religion you are. I mean, if we don't have faith in something bigger than us, what am I here for? Other than to help people do my mukbang so I can make some money, buy more jewelry, or supplies, <laughs> you know? And so that's my greatest joy. Helping others with their gift and making my jewelry. What is interesting all of my life though 
Because I have four brothers and four sisters. My grandmother was one of those stereotypical black women who went to the church by day and did her other wake by night. And I didn't get it for, of course, so I was like 13 or something, you noticing, why is this here? Why is that there? You know, kind of thing. Where's the stuff in this cup? <laughs> you know? Interesting life, no doubt. Um, let's see what we, ha what we have to say for today. I'm oh, sorry. Keep your feet on the ground, even though friends flatter you. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, six numbers. We gotta play the lottery, huh? Oh, this one is cute. At the bottom it has learn Chinese, oil, comma, you. I don't know what that means, but it's kind of cute that they put that lesson down there. Interesting. So, you know, it's, it's when you grow up in something, you know, it's just like any other, you know, religion or belief system or, 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 or. And that's what I know and you grow up and you learn other things and as soon as I moved out the house I, I of course was already in college I took theology for many years and learned what all those other people were talking about because you know my mom didn't even want me to go to my own grandfather's church on my dad's side so well, I think when I went there, I, I think she finally took me there when I was like 15 I don't remember what uh, religion it was. I do remember it had to be one of those where you hoop and holler and roll down the aisles. Because I couldn't believe that, I don't know who that lady was, but she was like two of me. Ooh. And you know, and the Blues Brothers, we do the flips and stuff. Yeah, that's what she was doing, honey. <laughs> Serious. Serious. Because <laughs> mm, mm, mm. I feel really like this. Whatever you do, do, do believe in, don't believe in. The only thing that really matters is that you're a good person and you do the right thing most of the time. God will forgive you for most of the rest. I know this is not to start a spiritual debate. That's not what I'm here for. I'm just telling you my experience. So let's not get it twisted. I have to tell you the truth though. It is nice knowing like when I moved here from California it was a little scary. So it's nice having that little help of like, you can have a highlighter, you have like something that bright neon yellow, right? So I'm trying to find where to go and I would see that bright neon yellow light bulb looking type thing in my head. And I'm like, okay, because this is a huge property. We have like five, six hundred apartments here. Okay, five hundred and fifty or so. And I was lost. So, you know, little things like that. It helps to have a little guidance. And I gotta tell you, I'm happy I do because that's gotten me out of a lot of shit a lot of time. You know? Don't get me wrong. Sometimes doing the right thing ain't always easy. Yeah, I know. If you do do the right thing, you probably live a pretty good life, like me, right? By all counts, I should be dead. 
because of the circumstances that happened to me in my life. When I first moved, at, when I first moved to San Jose when I was 23, and then in 2013, it was the doctor's opinion that I was diabetic and should be dead. And then it was a heart thing, and then it was another thing, and then I had too much fun to be having in skin. I ain't going nowhere. No time soon. Mm mm. I got too much fun to be had. I'm gonna meet a lot of YouTubers. And, you know, I'll go in. Oh, shit. I wonder if the other one's on the counter. I usually don't eat those things, but usually I usually don't eat them if they're unwrapped. I only ate, ate these because they're wrapped up. It's not bad enough in a lot of restaurants. We already know that everybody don't wash their hands. I can't imagine the thousands of hands that those um, fortune cookie things have touched that aren't in a wrapper. You know what I mean? So. Okay, let me find one more piece of chicken. Oh my God, I just love my chicken. I love their chicken, excuse me. There you go, Robert. <clears throat> See, Robert, just because of you, that's getting easier to burp on camera. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm getting over a lot of things now. You see, we're all we're all really the same. We all have different hangups about different stuff, and it really shouldn't matter. I mean, if you're not, I'm not shy. And now I'm eating in front of you guys. You know I'm really not inhibited by that anymore. Um, I'm even smacking. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The world's going to come to the end and we can go home. Okay. Y'all got to excuse me. I'm in a crazy mood today. I had a really nice chat with my, with my little brother. So... I'm all high on energy and shit, you know? He's a cool guy. He's a really cool guy. It scared me. A bird flew so close to the window. No matter what you do believe in, don't believe in. I'm not here to change anybody. I'm here to try and make me some money so I can buy my beads and wire. And since we're eating, we, what else are we going to talk about? You guys didn't give me anything else to talk about, just um, that one little boy. You know, so give me something I can talk about. If you don't want to hear me talk about spiritualism, because that's what I know. Jewelry, spiritualism. Okay, I think that's it for me. Say this for breakfast. Yes, I said breakfast. Breakfast don't have no time or ingredients. Food. Food is food. Whatever you got, you eat. When I was homeless, I didn't have nothing to eat. I quickly got out of eat this for breakfast, eat that for breakfast kind of mentality. You know? Food is food. <laughs> Who does? Oh, Sass does that. When she does her ASMR videos. And I'm gonna tell you, as always, it's an absolute pleasure having dinner with you guys. 
Thank you to the new subscribers. Thank you to the old subscribers. I mean the ones that have already subscribed, sorry. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I mean. So just, hey. <clears throat> okay, maybe one more. Love yourself. Do good for yourself. That kind of hurt. Well, you know I don't want to take a chance and break a tooth. Oh, pretty soon I get new dentures. I'm excited for that mess, honey. You got to know. Um, I really thank you guys for being here. Having dinner with me. Listen to me act up. Let me tell you about my life. <laughs> I have a good life. Especially now that I'm retired. Do what I want to do when I feel like doing it. And you know it's hot here. So, Princess and I usually go out when it's 85 or less. I mean, how do I make jewelry? Pendants, earrings, bracelets, necklaces. Bracelets. Listen to me. Do you hear me? Bracelets. <laughs> oh my goodness. Life is so good. And I really hope your life is good too. I really do. We all deserve to have a good life. Well, you know what I mean. Mm. And see, even now, my tongue doesn't feel, it's not greasy. It's not salty. Just right. Just right. So now I'm full, fat and happy. That's P-H-A-T. It's gonna be a good day. I hope you have a good day. Oh, hold it, Robert. I try. It'll be good to you, starting with you first. Okay? Love you guys. Have an awesome day. And I'll see you next time we have lunch with Taste with Tosh. Okay? All right. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Bye, guys. Bye. Mwah.